kind of extreme programming, and one of the little known uh, rules of extreme programming is there has to be food. So I brought some cookies, a shortbread, so a special lentil here. So I'll just give it in, in the first row. And <laughs> it's not enough for, for everyone, so the, the guys in front have, have a big advantage. So. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to talk about is a style text editor, and it's uh, mainly used, so the, the goal is to rich text editing, and it's implemented in Quiz. Um, what's going to be the, the questions I'm going to answer? So the first question is going, who, who did this, and why did they do it? And uh, so this uh, will um, answer a little bit what the goals are. Then, what is it exactly? So, what features are there uh, already? Uh, how did we do it? So, a little bit on the design. And um, the last question is where where are we planning to go with this in the future? And uh, if there are questions left, you can ask them later on. So, the first question: Who did this? Was on the, on the first slide. So. I'm responsible for the idea and uh, the funding, and uh, the implementation was done by Juan Buletti, who is also the author of the quiz fork. I think it might be a good idea to, um, to explain, uh, to leave, say what quiz is for those of you who don't know. Quiz is a, a fork of Squeak. I think it was forked from 3.7 or so. It was uh, the attempt to do a morphic cleanup. Well, this goal was reached, so it's a really good really thing, but uh, it didn't fall back into the mainline squeak, I'm afraid. So um, the main, like, main, the, the morphic in, in squeak is not, not as clean as this. Um, so why, do, why did I want to have such, such kind of thing? So I think there are some applications which, are, um, which I want to do, to do and I, I read. I need rich text for this, so text with, format, with formatting, and, um, but I want to feed as simple as possible for the user, and uh, the idea is to use only styles for formatting. So you can just uh, decide on any format you like, but you get a set of styles and you can only use these. Um, I want the format for uh, editing to be quite fast and applying styles to be quite fast, so there should be a keyboard shortcuts for applying those. And I would like to be able to have different style sets for different applications. I'm going to show that. Um, and uh, the goal is, this is a framework. It's not uh, an application in itself, so it, it should be embed embeddable in, in, in some applications, which I have in mind. Next question, what, what features do I currently, or do we currently support? Um, well, the most important features are styles. Uh, we have um, paragraph styles and character styles. Uh, you should be familiar with this in most text editing applications like Microsoft Word or uh, OpenOffice um, feature those. So paragraph styles have uh, line spacing, indents, first line indents, um, and character styles, and they apply to the whole paragraph, as the name says. And character styles apply to some pieces, strings of, of, of texts inside the uh, paragraph, and they have, I can specify font or color, or if it's bold or not. Um, we already have bulleted and numbered lists, um, and I also need com completion, so I have a um, pluggable text completion where I can have diff different glossaries where I can um, um, complete text while typing. Um, we can already paste images, um, and we have copy and paste uh, of rich text from the outside of, of uh, quiz, and also inside of quiz <coughs> between one editor to the, to the other, or to a different quiz image. Um, one component is a style text builder. This is basically an API for creating text with styles uh, programmatically. So in case that you don't need anything, but you still want to have, uh, create those texts. And um, we did a lot of refactoring and bug fixing in the quiz image. Well, quite did. And um, so it's a much nicer text framework now in 
to when we started. So, before going on, I sh show a short demo. So, this is a simple style text editor. Um, you can see that uh, I have different texts here with different styles. This is a heading style. If I continue, and um, I can write something else. And I can apply this style by using a drop down list here. Say, so, okay, now I don't want to have, uh, want to have style 3. I can just use keyboard shortcuts to switch those styles back to normal. <coughs> So what styles do we have here? We have paragraph styles normal. Um, this is a whole paragraph of text. You see that in this case I define the style so that it has a first line indent, which is different from the rest of the lines. It is, um, it is um, uh, justifica justification, so also the, the, red, uh, the right side aligns on, on, um, on the line. Then we have paragraph style emphasized. And um, there is an example of an unknown list. So if I if I add something in between, you see that it it, it, it renumbers. The same works as well with uh, alphabetic lists. And we also have political lists. I think there's also Roman numerals, but uh, I didn't show it in the example. So in addition to the character styles, we also have character styles. So we define, I define three or four here. So this is an example of um, a paragraph style um, green for him. And I can remove it again, and then I have um, not normal style, only the paragraph style. Less. What we did also was um, multiple text selection in quiz. Should work if I use the right keyboard shortcut. Anyway, so the idea is that you can select multiple things and then apply character styles to a police. Um, well, this is a uh, first example, and now in contrast, I open a, a second uh, example. This is, I used um, a text from uh, the start from Macbeth. And the idea here, as you can see, is that these paragraph uh, styles, these are completely uh, application defined. So in this case, uh, I have a, a, a play, and um, I want to um, have things like a figure, which is the, the, the image of the three witches here. Then I have um, uh, acts and scenes and scene descriptions and uh, scene instructions, speakers and text. So you can have, uh, the, the, depending on the application you want to do, you can define your styles you, you want to have. And in, in this case, um, I, I need not many character styles at all. One thing I'd like to show is, um, should remove the character style first. So here is a um, Here is a completion, and uh, in this case, uh, there's a dictionary of, um, of I, I think, almost all English words there are. You see how fast it is. So this is not my uh, fault, but uh, Clans. But you, you can uh, just sound and select. And I also did uh, a feature that uh, if I, I can uh, specify a certain character style to be applied on the text. Um, if, for instance, I, I want to complete hypertext, uh, this is a feature I wanted to have. Um, 
one other thing in the demo maybe is um, yeah there as a there's also completion in in the in quiz now this is a different set dictionary for for the for quiz code and um, yes that's a one example of um, the style build I want to show you. This is how the API looks. So you, you define some styles, and then you have a text builder with build with styles. So you have shortcuts for the styles, and then you can just write it kind of string notation, so which is quite easy to write, so that you have um, um, an API to create style texts and try to execute this. Then it, it opens a Express in this case with the subjects. That's it for the demo. So there were some collateral features which uh, in, uh, which happened to happen during the implementation, which were not planned actually. So there was a big refactoring in text editor. I think this part is already in, in Squeak and Faro. Some, some years ago, Quant did it and then um, uh, integrated there. We use our filtering drop down list, but actually, so see, because I didn't show it. So if you, if you type something in here, Yeah, then Juan um, did an uh, improved layout for, for, for Morphic, for Quiz Morphic, a simpler layout, it's a simple API which also came out from, from this project. And uh, we removed String Holder and Quiz. So Quiz is the first screen for String Holder, it's on the roadmap of our IFR today. And um, yes, code completion for Quiz was also a, a, a fallout from the, from the completion which I needed for the text table. Next question, how? So this is um, uh, a little bit um, how, how the design looks like. It's not as easy as it, as it should be. We have here the editor hierarchy. You might know this editor, text editor, is more together, but this is already in, in Squeak. And another subclass was this uh, text editor, which we introduced. So this is the editor part. The editor knows the text model, which is a subclass of active model. Basically, that's how model is named in Quiz, and which holds the text itself. There is a style text model which holds a style set, and the style set um, has a list of paragraph styles and character styles. And then there are some morphs which, uh, together with the editor, um, work here. So we have a text model morph, a pair text morph, and a black hole style text morph. So these two classes uh, is, is something which we would like to, um, to make one class out of it because it's not, not really nice. The reason is that text model morph inherits from scroll bay uh, should probably not uh, be spare text morph should just have a scroll bay um, Yeah, but these are the main classes. So, um, where are we planning to go? So, one, one idea is uh, I am planning to release that as open source. I, I did not I did not succeed to do that uh, until ESOC, but uh, soon, I promise. So it will be MIT. Um, also, I always wanted from the beginning to, to port it also to Squeak and Faro, which I did not do. Um, I, I liked Quiz and I, I liked uh, Juan's um, attitude towards quality, and so I started out there, and he had really nice looking fonts. Um, which is important for, for, for my applications. 
And of course, hyperlinks, um, which can also be application defined, so what, they, what, what happens if you click on there. I would like to have a search UI similar to, to those you find in, 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 in browsers like Safari. So it's also very neat multiple selection to show the, the, the results of the search. And uh, Biggie uh, model for text changes so that I can uh, do something like, I have two, two use cases here. I want to be able to, to merge branches if, if you have um, in parallel changes of text. And the second thing, of course, is possibly to have multi-step undo and compare text. And another biggie, not even started yet, is uh, table support. Um, possible applications. Um, so I want to in, uh, include a very simple sample application which is just a kind of notepad so that it's just written in small I um, have it almost finished, but not yet. I want to do a, a, a wiki. Well, basically it's an offline wiki. Uh, but uh, where I can reach text, to rich text and, and so forth. So Nick's uh, talk reminded me. Of, uh, I didn't want to do it in JavaScript, so, so this is why, uh, one, one of the applications. I think it would also be great to integrate this in the help browser we have in Squeak and Faro. So also that you can use um, um, formatting there and also editing of help texts. And um, I'd really like also to have the possibility to have, again, rich text comments for class comments as well. Um, and uh, a lot of other ideas which I have, but uh, these are the, the first applications which, which I have in mind. Last, lessons learned. <laughs> I'm always too optimistic, so um, it's, um, it's no, no use, I'm afraid. But uh, we put a lot of effort in there, so it's... Uh, already 900 hours since, since about two years, and a lot of uh, financial effort as well. And uh, also one thing I learned, Cruise is really nice, but I really miss Monticello. Um, the good thing is I learned something about change stats. Um, they're also quite, quite, quite uh, useful. Um, but um, I, I had, I had uh, one estimate what it would uh, mean to port Monticello to Cruise, and uh, this is something which I couldn't uh, afford. Um, and the, the third thing is, um, I thought it would be quite easy to port the stuff back to Squeak and Faro once I had it, and this turned out to be not true. Uh, the, the, um, uh, in about, after a third of the effort which we spent, uh, I had one estimate how much effort it would be to port it to Squeak, and it turned out to be a, almost as much effort as the creation of the whole thing. And this is really bad. And this is also the reason why it's not yet ported, because it's a big thing and I will not be able to, it will cost a lot of money and I will not be able to, to uh, make uh, effort on the feature side. So, so I think um, it's really, really a bad thing that, that um, uh, it's, it's such a big waste of time, basically. I have no, no solution for that one, but I can understand why folks are there. I was bitten by them, I would say. Anyway, it was fun to do it, and yes, so I'm happy to ask questions if you have any, or I'm very happy to accept feedback or ideas. Uh, is it possible to copy paste text from, for instance, Outlook into your text field and keep the formatting? Uh, yes, uh, should be possible. Uh, I have not tried it in the demo. But Juan um, implemented, uh, so we have uh, RTF as, a, as an export uh, exchange format. The thing is that uh, it is one of the com most complicated things because what I want to have is I want to have only styles. But the outside world normally doesn't know styles. So I have something like I create imported, import styles on the fly and then I have, I can show you. I have here uh, features like uh, replace all uses of a paragraph style with a, separate, with a different one. So then you can, the theory is you, I get, if I paste something, I get uh, imported styles and then I replace them and they are garbage collected. So I, 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 so copy paste works, but
but um, um, it's it's not 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 so not so uh, easy to to then keep the, this constraint that I only want styles and nothing else. 